Oh, wait, this is gonna be a banger. Okay, the most wanted drivers in New York. Easy, Tiger, easy, 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 easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. How many police chases do you think you've been in? 30, I think. On a scale of one to 10, how wanted would you say you are? Probably a 10, nobody more wanted me. I wasn't lying when I said these guys are wanted. <laughs> In the years? Here with the most wanted drivers in New York. Hey, I'm street boy. I'm a big mouth dog. I do big dog shit. I fuck your bitch wrong. I heard she been wanting the kid. I'm a big dog and I do big dog. Yo, Jay, thank you for the five gifted subs, brother. Swim team. I appreciate you, Jay. Swim team, the dream team. So buckle up, folks. This is gonna be a wild ride. One day in this. Yo, hold on, hey commit crimes in new york is different breeds bro because it's like you could really go to rikers <laughs> like the consequence for your 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 thuggery is a, a prison nobody wants to be in my like you gotta really be dedicated to crime bro Seriously. safety my home in milwaukee <laughs> i started to get bombarded by dms imploring me to explore these two drivers named squeeze benz and where's 981 when i looked at their pages their driving shocked me i would describe their videos as daring dangerous and reckless i'm fascinated by the human desire to push limits and go against the grain i'm yeah. fascinated by the daredevils and outlaws of the world young men in particular love to do this in a variety of ways evil knievel shot himself out of a cannon philip petite tightrope walked across the twin towers alex honnold climbed up cliffs without a rope and fighter darren till cut weight until he went blind the question that comes to mind when you look at this behavior is what compels someone to push themselves to such lengths and risk injury or death. In today's video, we investigate this daredevil behavior in the form of reckless drivers who are causing outrage and fascination across New York. Police tried to pull over a car on West 38th Street and 7th Avenue. The driver sped off, slamming into cars, driving on the sidewalk. What the fuck is he doing? He's not even getting away. He's just hitting things. And even hitting a dining shed. But there's a twist in the story because these guys don't just risk their own necks in the Stunts, they also risk the lives of oh! pedestrians and the oh! law enforcement that chases them. These guys regularly go on police chases <gasps> and evade police helicopters. Today, we interview them face to face and talk morality, ethics, danger, Wait. and their motivation for their. Wait, behavior. do I know that Let's guy? Dive in and go boots on the ground. <laughs> This documentary is purely for educational purposes. We want to stress that the behavior depicted in this video is dangerous, illegal, and should never be imitated. And remember, it only takes one bad crash to ruin your life or someone else. And no funny shit, on a very serious note, this shit is not it. You feel me? Like, if you want to go fast, take your car to the track, my nigga. On, on a very real note, bro. It's not even your life you're risking, bro. It's just everybody's around you, bro. Like, and, and you feel me? I'm a pretty aggressive driver, bro. But my aggression has very obvious limits. Feel me? I, I don't even go more than 10 over the limit nowadays, bro. I've I really reformed, man. I've really reformed, chat. <clears throat> Can't say this part on camera. Uh, Cause you know, back in the day, niggas really two and oh, you feel me? When uh, I had to, you know what I'm saying? Get loose and shit like that. Back in the day, things in it. And someone told me, that's the story I saw. That's it from a game. <clears throat> oh God. Please drive responsibly. Thank you. Two with the F <gasps> Third, 30 and 0 is crazy though. Like that's a crazy record. We wanted to know how everyday people felt about this kind of driving. We had some extra time to kill at the New York airport, so I went around showing people videos of Squeeze Benz and Where's 981 driving. Here's what they had to say about it. See, that's just outrageous to me. What do you think of that? It's just dangerous. <laughs> I think if the piece go off, then it's a bit dangerous. Was everyone else at risk? He's probably going 120, 130 right now. See how there's some close calls? I feel like he thinks he's in a video game. That stuff pisses me off. Like Y'all, I'm gonna be honest, is I know it pisses her off, but it's really satisfying to watch. It's so satisfying to watch. Like, is it dangerous as shit? Yeah, hell yeah, bro. But Lord have mercy, is it so satisfying? Yo, I'm not, it's probably one of the most satisfying things I can watch, actually. I got kids that are on those roads, too. When that guy hits one of my kids, well, they, I don't know what happened. Chris, I could tell this guy, can I use your massage chair? Yeah, he's for gonna sure. He's going to do it anyway. What do you think about that? It makes me mad. I get it. All kids, they're bred to do that, right? But it's still, it's irresponsible. If I told True. you this guy's gotten away from not only multiple police, but also helicopters. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. 
Oh, what's your reaction on that? I believe it. I just feel like it's really selfish. I feel like he should get his license taken away for some period of time and probably have to go through safe driving classes, maybe <laughs> talk to people who are victims of people I that think drive like that. Yo, she's, with, like, she's spitting right now, chat. <laughs> She's not wrong. Attempted manslaughter or something like that. I mean, yeah. that's it's, in effect. Yeah. You're putting people at risk yeah. intentionally when you go a certain speed over the speed limit. If you were his mother or father, what would you tell him? That he's a selfish idiot. One of these days, somebody is gonna would. get in his way and that person's gonna end up dead or many people are gonna end up dead. And if he ends up dead, that's his consequence for what he does. But nobody else deserves to have that kind of risk. It's no different than someone who's really drunk getting behind the wheel of a <laughs> yes it is bro what the fuck is he trying to liken bro it's so different in some ways that's better and worse it's not even remotely the same thing car and driving when they have no control i mean your car is actually like a weapon of mass destruction <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> hey bro what i've never heard a car be described like that before Yo, bro, a weapon of mass destruction is like a nuclear bomb. <laughs> oh, shit, that's fucking like hilarious. Being drunk and getting behind the wheel because you're that's actively making sick. the choice to put other people's lives at risk. The it's steepest crazy. price that gets paid is not the person driving the car. I mean, someone's going to end up dying. He's, they're, they're right, like though. That. Like, they're right, though. Hundreds of people's lives. Like, if a kid in a school were to die, everybody in the school it's would a be mourning yeah. for that one person. Oh, yeah, he's tripping. Not safe at all. If he hits somebody, do you think it should be manslaughter or the first two three? I say manslaughter because you know what you're doing. Like you're just driving crazy. Like what would you tell him if you could say something to him? I'd be like, slow down. What do you think about driving like this? Oh, it's terrible. I don't like it. Like he better stay away from that. Yeah. What should be the penalty if he's caught? Manslaughter. Yo, Nigeria, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I appreciate that. W gifts in the chat. He be cutting up. Oh yeah, he's cutting up. <laughs> I'd be surprised if the nigga hadn't gotten into an accident before. Not at that. Because he's driving fast. He's not even cutting up at slow speeds, bro. Yo, Nigeria, thank you so much for the 10 gifts. I appreciate the love. Seriously. Jada, welcome back. Sion, welcome back. May, welcome back. Damn, you just subbed up and you gifted 10, Nigeria. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love. Seriously. It's vehicular manslaughter. This guy has an ability to get away from multiple police vehicles and including helicopters. Right. So he hasn't been caught. Uh, Yesterday, he got away from a helicopter. Where? In New York or California? New York. Wow. What kind of car is he renting? Lamborghini. I can see I was out running the car. Nigga said renting. <laughs> I guess we could hope for him hitting a telephone pole. There Turn you yourself in, brother. You're a reckless driver and you're going to hurt innocent people. I got folks taking pics, some like pop rats. I'm gonna go and get the test, I don't really like the mods. Really getting to the check, but I ain't rocking no harass. We're on our way to meet Squeeze Benz. Recently, he's been making the news for his high speed stunts. While some people see his driving as exhilarating or exciting, there's a rising sentiment that this sort of behavior unnecessarily endangers innocent drivers and pedestrians. He sent us the address of a random parking garage and told us to pull up. This is what we encountered. Folks, we're on the way to talk to one of the most wanted drivers in New York, Squeeze Benz. This kid does stuff that makes my butthole pucker up. Oh, this guy is <laughs> reckless. This guy is extreme. This guy drives at a very high speed. I do not drive like this. You shouldn't drive like this. And there's a reason why I'm not getting into their cars while they're driving this fast. It's dangerous. It's reckless. It's scary. Disclaimer, don't do this at home. He's kind of like a high-speed fugitive. I'm always interested in the outlaws of the world, people that live on the edge. Humans, especially men, are always pushing the limits of danger. But one distinction I want to make is evil Knievel only harms himself if he fails. The UFC fighters are both signing up. They're in mutual combat but these guys if something goes wrong they harm innocent civilians so i want to ask him about that but then ask him about the outlaw the testing danger peace that lives strongly within them because i think that's interesting this is not a product placement i do not want a partnership with celsius i do not drink your drinks every single trip multiple times a day i don't absolutely love your drink you guys if you want to hit me up please do i would love to, talk to you. otherwise i'll probably hit up prime and you know how that goes bro celsius is one of the most hit or miss drinks i've ever tried in my life i tried first flavor i tried i'm like wow that's actually pretty good I was like, damn, like, how come niggas didn't tell me about this? The second one I tried, I almost wanted to fucking throw it out the window, my nigga. Like, you just never know what you're going to get. I haven't tried all the flavors yet, though. <laughs> so we're pulling up to meet Squeeze Benz. I'm excited. I hope you are, too. 
You know, high speed must be an issue around here if they have a Mustang NYPD car that's got some. A Mustang is not catching niggas, niggas, bro. It's been a great run. Kudos to you for lasting as long as you have. But that's it. I mean, that's you're finished. It's sorry. In honor of that, R.I.P. Mainstream media sweatshirts available. TommyGMcGee.com. Oh uh, God, dude. What the f is this Batman, dude? <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how wanted would you say you are? Probably a 10. Nobody's more wanted than me. Really? Yeah. That's insane. It started like Nobody? a year ago. I got my first Benz, and I always did like little driving videos, and I never really took it to nothing. And then my boy started saying like, you know, mad people are blowing up off this. And I was just like, you know, that's just how it started. I'm curious, like you have a Lamborghini, and at one point a Mercedes Benz. I'm sure you go through a lot of different cars. Are you going on tour and just driving people's cars all crazy? crazy. Are you guys getting your own cars? Like, tell me about that. I had my own car for a bit, but then I changed it up because I did get chased a lot. Well, I just realized, like you know, doing long-term rentals is just a way better route. And then obviously, I don't tell these guys I'm speeding up. Did you ever get blown up by the tour people? Yo, this nigga's doing these in renties. Nah, that's outrageous. That is outrageous, nigga. Asking what the hell happened? We do ask, and then like I kind of just like you know just driving the car. You know what I mean? You mix danger, but there's also other people at risk when you do that. Innocent civilians. So what do you think about the element of danger for that? I've been doing this since like real shit since I was nine. I used to take my dad's car out and I used to just bug out. And I've been doing this for so long now that I feel like I did as a professional. I, like you know niggas know like that's how I drive. There's been incidents where I've gone out with people and they try keeping up with me and they cry. How fast do you? <laughs> nigga just bragged about. Well, that's a weird brag, man. <laughs> they just crash. <crashed>. Fuck. <laughs> well, that's a weird thing to brag about. Yo, why don't you just like, I don't know, man. Take it to the track. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with I that? Mean, I feel like it's more fun one there. One hand two hundred and ten miles an hour. Filming with one hand, driving with the other, two hundred ten miles an hour. Yes. That's insane. Did that scare you? Not really. It's just to build up a tolerance of just speed. Do you feel like the police watch your Instagram? Hundred percent, they do. Let's pop in the car and keep the conversation going. Hey, uh, you don't have a seatbelt on there, Tommy. <laughs> How many people normally f you out compared to like, am I in the high end of this? <laughs> That's okay. Does your mom worry about you? Or I call it, she don't even want to hear the things that I'm doing. She be getting scared because she know I be doing shit, like, you know what I mean? Do you know any friends that have gotten really hurt or died doing my, this? My boy, he was racing and he macked up and he hit his head and his head like split open a little bit. He needed stitches, but like, other than that, nothing's ever happened. Tell me about the camera system in New York. How hard is it to evade capture or awareness of the police? Super easy. A lot of people are like, like they be doing crimes with their plates on. Look like, at I me, mean, if I go and run from a cops, I'm gonna make sure I either have uh, altered plates or no plates at all. New York City is home to one of the most advanced camera surveillance networks on the planet. An Amnesty International project identified that there are more than 25,000 public and private cameras fuck? at traffic intersections across the city. This camera technology can capture faces and other details from up to 400 feet away. This infrastructure isn't cheap either. This camera technology combined with cell phone tracking tools, spyware, and facial recognition racked up nearly $3 billion in expenditure the from fuck? the NYPD from 2007 to 2019. When street racers run rampant in the city, it's easy for governments to make the argument to increase the surveillance in order to shut down this reckless endeavor. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like street racing gets a disproportionate amount of attention relative to the negative it causes. And then there's other areas where like millions of people could be dying because of something like obesity. And then they just refuse to make a fucking single adjustment because that's not like that happens over time. It doesn't happen instantly. Like that won't make the news. God damn. These niggas spent $3 billion and their justification was street racing. Yo, you know what I learned chat? Um, one time I was at a car meet and niggas told me, you ever wonder, like, why the lights turn red? Like, they have the technology for the lights to always be convenient. But lights purposefully turn red even when there's no one on the road to stop street racing. That's, like, it's such a focus of, like, it's, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it gets a disproportionate amount of attention. So, like, you know when you're driving at 2 a.m. and you get hit with red lights and there's no other car? I'm like, nigga, why did that light turn? They literally do it on purpose. They do it on purpose. They don't want to give people a straight green light road. They, they hate that. They do it on purpose, which is like inconvenient as fuck, but they do it to prevent. 
street racing. But in all reality, is the street racer stopping for a red light? Behavior. However, the same technology can also be used just to inconvenient the for me. of millions of civilians on a daily basis, something that is currently happening in China and that many Americans are afraid of. As technology such as AI facial recognition and high-def cameras increase in quality, this is a challenge we are going to have to wrestle with to ensure the very tech that can help keep us safe also doesn't grow too powerful to infringe upon our freedoms. It already, it already is. What are the different penalties for if you got caught doing what we're doing? I'm running red lights, I'm doing more than triple the speed limit, double the speed limit. This is a lot of tickets to it. You did a video in Times Square recently, right? Yeah. I gotta send it back for all my insecurities. Maybe like some work without Yo, this nigga's crazy, crazy, bro. Nah, this nigga's crazy, though. It only takes one mistake to permanently change or destroy somebody's life. I do understand that. It just like, we were also like, it was a lot of people, 12 o'clock in the morning, you seen in the video, like I stopped, looked around, made sure there was nobody and started doing donuts. And then when I was running the red lights, I'm not gonna lie, I was low key bugging. I low key know how to run red lights. I've been chased by Mac Ops to the point where I could blow the red lights doing 60, 70. No, I'm not gonna get my What is your strategy in getting away from police? Hopping on the highway. These cops, like, they're not really built for that. It's a lot of real <laughs> cops now. Hey, hey, NYPD, y'all niggas, hey, y'all niggas need to stand up or some shit, bro. Come on, bro. This nigga's calling y'all rookies, man. So what's going on, bro? What's going on, man? What's going on, man? In Atlanta, Georgia, they got a Hellcat State Troopers. You can't say shit like that, <laughs> okay? Yo, one time we was coming back from an A&P shoot, and a nigga, nigga, uh, cop put his light on, tried pulling a nigga over. Nigga did the dash. In less than three minutes, every exit on the entire freeway was blocked with cops. Every overpass that goes over the freeway had cops with binoculars so they could identify him. It was locked down. He would have to have fucking drove two hours to Alabama to make it out, bro. Okay, so I feel like they're not on the same time, my brother. Bunch of rookie cops, and these guys do not know how to drive on a highway. Nigga said, roll tide. can evade detection for so long. They do so by altering or covering up their license plates so the car yeah. cannot be tracked by police or the traffic cameras. Cars with this modification have been nicknamed ghost cars. Last month, a joint task force was launched between New York Governor's Kathy Hochul, New York Mayor Is that shit illegal? Adams, the NYPD, and the MTA to crack down on the issue of ghost cars. In their first day alone, they impounded 73 cars, issued 282 court summons, and made eight arrests. And I noticed the same thing back home in Milwaukee. Very the guys running through the red lights, driving the stolen cars, and driving aggressively, most of them do not have license plates. What's the longest police chase you've been in? 30 minutes. That's a pretty long chase. How many guys do you think were chasing you at one time? It would be like three, four, but the amazing thing was the helicopter. That was a really hard to go there. Luckily, it was late night. I was in the porch. Nigga, just drive on the road, bro. I just hopped on the highway. You know what I mean? The helicopter can only go so fast. You go fast in the helicopter? Yeah, they only like top out like 150, 140. You crash into somebody, they get paralyzed, they die. Do you think you deserve to go to prison? This nigga's on the shoulder, bro. If I kill somebody, that's somebody's life. Like, that's somebody's mother, brother, cousin, whatever the case is. If somebody crashed into my mom in her car and they killed her, I want them to go to jail. You know what I mean? Maybe not for life, but just enough. You, chat, you know why I think you know why I think he's arrogant? I think he's arrogant because I don't even think the greatest F1 drivers in the world, I don't even think the greatest NASCAR drivers, I don't even think the greatest drifters in the world would do this in public because they know eventually they could slip up because shit happens and then they could kill somebody. And this nigga's not nearly as talented as those guys. He doesn't have the reaction speed of those guys. He doesn't have the skill or the talent as those guys. So that's why I think this is arrogance. It just hasn't happened to him yet. You feel me? But it's inevitable, bro. He's either going to go to jail or he's going to kill somebody. It's inevitable. There's no way around it, bro. <clears throat> What makes taking these risks worth it for you? They're not really risks to me, that's the thing. I don't really see them as risks. I see them as like, you know, me just everyday driving. You said you've been driving since you were nine years old? My dad used to give me his car. You know, I used to sit on his lap when I was like seven. He used to give me the steering wheel that. And then, you know, I hit nine. He used to send me over to AutoZone real quick. I used to go to AutoZone, Home Depot, whatever the f pieces. From 13, I used to start picking up my boys. And that's when I started really like, you know, cutting up. This oh my God. He okay, was cutting easy, up at 13, easy, bro. Easy, 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 easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. No more, no more. Ooh, that motherfucking made me. 
Imagine me doing that. Yeah. Nah. Yo, the first time you're in a car when someone's cutting up is like the most like nerve wracking thing on the planet. But I say this though, once you get used to it, you don't get nervous no more. <laughs> I get, I understand where the nigga coming from, bro. But I'm just saying like, eventually you keep rolling the dice, boom. You won't see, you won't like what the fuck it lands on, bro. It don't matter how nice you are. It don't matter how not nervous you are. <laughs> How many police chases do you think you've been in? More than my hands. There's been so many times where like the boys just get behind us and they start chasing. But like it's not really chases to us. They really back up. Do you think you're the most wanted that drive? Doesn't count. Like, between me and where's 981, like where's 981 low key died down, I feel like I've taken over that spot. So yeah. I'm sure there are a lot of young men that watch your content. What do you think about kids that want to go try and replicate this, copy this? From Sweet Benz himself. Do not come try this. This is something that you can get paralyzed, you could die. I don't drive like this, you shouldn't. Some people in this game take lots of risks, and Squeeze is one of those guys, but highly advise you never to do this. How sophisticated is the camera system in New York? It's getting more sophisticated now to where, like, you know, it'll take them probably two, three days to really find where he was at, you know what I mean? How do you stash your vehicle so that the police don't... Yeah, how the fuck, where do you hide it? Garage, I have one of the parking garages where I park my car. So just like a drug dealer has trap houses, you have different... I have trap houses, yeah. Oh my God, are you nervous enough? <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> the boys are right here. Like... Right now? Bro, you know, he was about to get out of his vehicle. You were just about to smack him. Oh, no, nah, this nigga's bored. Nigga just tried to bait the police. Yo, he got balls, dog. He got balls, bro. This is something that young men gravitate towards. Let's talk about brain development in young men. The male brain does not fully mature until about 25, so their prefrontal cortex that assesses risk is not fully developed yet. Yo, I'm about to start telling y'all niggas that moving forward. Anytime y'all... Hey, Chris. Oh yeah, yeah, by all means. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. You, You're good. No worries, man. <laughs> I can give you a massage later if you want to. No, that's cool. Yeah. All right, bet. that's Thank you. yeah, for sure, man. Which helps to explain the risky behavior we see in this segment of the population. There's a name for this, young male syndrome. This sometimes short-sighted behavior is hypothesized to have provided an evolutionary advantage. A 2001 University of Liverpool study found that females prefer brave males who take risks to the ones that do not. And if we go back thousands of years to being hunter-gatherers on the savanna, this preference makes sense, as a female would want the male that fends off the lion or stands to fight when another rival tribe approaches. Biologically, not much has changed in our brains then, but our technology has progressed much further. Further, and it helps to explain why you see young men doing high-speed chases and drifting through Times Square. What's the craziest getaway story you have? So I'll be the one with the helicopter. I pulled up on the highway patrol in the truck. He was about to pull someone over. So I got behind him. I started playing with him. And I was recording. I got away, obviously. A week later, I started getting chased by two, three black chargers. I'm looking up. And I see the helicopter above me. What the fuck? Like, oh, no. Nah. It was only like my second ever, ever helicopter chase. So my heart was bumping. I'm not knowing how hard. These guys are gonna go for me right now. They're gonna set a roadblock up, something, you know what I mean? But thank God that wasn't the case. Like a spike strip. That's never happened to me. I don't need to give these niggas advice, but like, I don't know why they don't use spike strips. Is it hard for you not to be going fast right now? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's more than one of the stuff they gave up. They should put a place where people can do this and have fun in a safe environment. If you give us a spot, we're gonna use it. How long do you see yourself doing this for? It's not gonna be a forever thing. Eventually, it's gonna turn into a brand. How often do you drive? Reckless. It's every day but to a limit. Let's talk about reckless driving in the United States. In 2021, there were six- yeah, He is right, Chad. They should be giving people places to do shit like this. I genuinely believe that. There used to be a drift place here in Atlanta they shut down. The county, the county just shut it down. And now I think there's only one place people go to. There's two places people go to. And one is a racetrack. They just convert into a drift track. Bro, they need to be giving people a place to do these things, bro. They need to. A track is not where you drift. A track is where you race. I'm talking about like sliding and shit too. Like these places need to exist, bro. It just needs to. It just needs to. It's like how gun ranges need to exist for guns. It needs to be a place you can go to shoot a gun from time to time, bro. 
6 million car crashes and 39,500 of them were fatal. A survey by the insurance company Nationwide found that 47% of Gen Z reported driving faster than the speed limit and 34% of them reported video chatting while driving. Actions like this help contribute to car crashes being the leading cause of death for American oh, Everybody teenagers. drives Another faster than the fucking fact limit. The amount of pedestrians killed by reckless driving. In 2022, there were 7,500 deaths in this manner. In New York, vehicular mm. manslaughter is a felony that carries a steep sentence of up to 15 years. We took two Polaroids they're fresh off the press still developing. We're gonna put them in two random people that buy merch in the next 48 hours. Two people will get squeeze bends, Tommy G, Polaroid photos, RIP mainstream media, big dogs gotta eat. Hope to send this to you. Available on Patreon only are the wild and extended cut versions of the interviews with Squeeze Benz, including one right after he got finished with a helicopter chase, extended cut interview with Swim Team, and more. This is some good shit. What's Patreon. Swim Team? Is that, the, is, that the, is that the racing group? Nigga got a racing group? <laughs> We find ourselves in another parking garage meeting with New York driver Where's 981 and his crew, the swim team. Swimming refers to the driving technique where they cut up, weaving in and out of traffic to get where they want to go. They've gained a lot of notoriety online, and I wanted to talk to them to learn more about them. The faster you go and the more dangerous you drive, the more views you get. All right, guys, you're pulling up to meet the swim team. You're one of the groups of the drivers. Okay. Why do you guys call yourself swim team? This is how it started, like, they called me float. It used to be called float apostles, so, like, I guess it's like a, like a teacher. I would teach you how to float. And then it just turned into, like, you know, when we started cutting up and stuff, it was almost like we were swimming through traffic, and they will call me, like, Michael Phelps, so we're swimming. How fast do you go sometimes? I'm hitting 150 every day. It's easy to hit every 150. Every day? Bro. Like, it's triple digits no matter what. You're 50, 60 miles an hour is my 100. Have you had any near misses? Yeah, of course. People come to me like, oh, how do I do this? How do I do that? I'm not going to try and teach you how to do it because of the simple fact that someone can get hurt. Thank you that I have not hurt anybody. It's like shooting a gun in an open field. Like, anybody can get hit with a straight. It's not. What? I'm not hurt anybody. It's like shooting a gun in an open field. Like, anybody can get hit with a straight bullet. If you hit somebody and they get really injured or die, what should be the punishment you think? I'm I'm going to jail with all the percent. Yeah, it's worth it. Why? It's not worth it. That's the thing. I can't justify it, you know? What's it like being in a high-speed chase? What? The first time, it feels crazy, bro. Like, you're like, F Like, you're scared to go home. Some way, somehow, you make it home. You, you have a little bit of tough, a tough night of sleep that first night. And then you make it to the second night, you make it to the next night, they never come. After that, it just, you get numb to it, you know? What are the laws in New York for chasing people? Because I know in Milwaukee, oftentimes they don't chase you at a certain speed because they know it results in civilian deaths a lot of times when the chase happens. I, it depends on the cop, honestly. I've seen cops where one of my boys, this dude is going off-road, off-road in New York, and the f***ing cop following him. Bro, like, what the fuck is this nigga, like... These niggas jumping curbs and... Do a little bit of car parkour, my nigga. What? It's never that serious. Bro, if you're going to cut up, you got to stay on the street, dog. You can't just fucking sit on the shoulder the whole time. Them off the road. They just take that one, you know, that one car. That's, that's not even like cutting that. up. You can't just sit on the shoulder. What does your mom think about this? I bring my mom to work. She's going 150. She didn't. She didn't get scared. In her eyes, she knows I'm a good driver. Like, she's got mother's prayers, of course. She's going to always pray for me. Make sure everything works out every single time. But she's not too stressed. M3000! I wouldn't say I created Swim, so it started off because it was me and Bob, right? Swimming, and then we're like, why did that sound kind of nice? So I'm here with. We're going for this. We do 50. Where's not anyone? Go. And I'm Tommy G, allegedly. <laughs> Always that. Who out of this group is the high speed specialist? This nigga right here is like nasty on the track. This nigga right here is just nasty on the movie. You can slide, drift. See, I want to learn that. What's the fastest you guys have ever gone in a car before? 170? What do they drive? It's life or death speed. What makes it worth it for you to put yourself in that position where you could go to the afterlife if you're not careful? Yo, Blizz, thank you for the tier one, bro. If I die, I die. 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 I never like hopped out of car and went that fast off rip. It's kind of like you know, I got used to it slowly, you know, building up like a tolerance to the speed. Or if you're watching this and you're a driver, then you know what I mean when you feel the rear wheels through the, through the seat of the car. That you're is, super in tune and in yeah. touch. It's almost like the car is an extension of your body. I, you have senses from the seat, the steering wheel, the 
audio cues, how loud the engine is, if your tires are squealing. You have so many cues in it, and it's really up to you to take all that sensory input and be able to, like, drive it properly. <laughs> Nigga like, Tad right now, yo. <laughs> like, we genuinely Nigga Tad, yo, yo, yeah, thank you for the tier one. It's just a track it right now. It's just, it's expensive, and people are shutting the trucks down. Do you guys know anyone that has crashed or died or gotten injured doing this? Louie, thank you for the tier one. If anybody were to seriously get hurt or crash or anything like that, I think it'll, it'll end it for everybody. I think we don't stop. There's a risk of hurting someone that's completely yeah, innocent. Someone could be on their way to work. Someone could be going to pick up their kid from soccer practice. Like, how does that factor in your driving and what you think about when you drive? I don't have a choice about that. If I get left, I get stuck, I get stuck, you mm -hmm. know What does that mean when you get left? If I'm following 91 or I'm following float and they think the cut I can't take, I'm not taking it. I'm going to reach them. Yeah, I I chat like this is what I be talking about. Like if I see niggas driving like this, if I see niggas swimming around me, why is this car accelerating, bro? I'm moving out the way. Why are these niggas driving like they're not cutting up around them? I don't I don't want to be involved in your cut up. I'm gonna be honest with you, my nigga. Shh, let me slide out the way. Feel me? <laughs> I will continue my drive once y'all niggas have passed, bro. <laughs> Like this Honda Odyssey is completely out of pocket right now. I know exactly how each one of them drives and how I drive. So God forbid someone has to hard brake, the cars behind are already braking. And <laughs> Wait, worse? Looking for openings so we don't we're not rear ending each other. Have you guys had any near misses? <laughs> Hey, what the fuck? Do you guys' moms know about this? She knows, and she tells me every day to stop. And I tell her, look, I'm trying. We have a brand swim team, right? We're not trying to cut our brick list 24 7, bro. Like, we got a 5M service coming up, a set of courses service coming up. And honestly, Word. Like, we see the community, we see the love you guys are giving us, and we're not gonna take this and just, you know, throw it Yo, Nuz, thank you for the tier one. Mello, thank you for the 12 months. One year, welcome back, bro. What do you say to the people that are like super pissed when they see what you do? They're like, that's reckless, it's selfish, it's dangerous, people could die. What, what do you say to those type of folks? Honestly, bro, you're great. I agree with them, bro. I don't even argue with them. Yeah, I don't argue with them you know what I you know what I can appreciate about appreciate about these guys floating these niggas compared to the last nigga? They know what they're doing. They shouldn't be doing it, but they're addicted, bro. They're addicted to the thrill, okay? The other nigga seems to think there's nothing wrong with what he's doing. And that's different because then he's not even trying to make an adjustment or a change because he's perfectly fine where he's at. So he will only continue to build on it. I think like if you can't acknowledge that driving like that is wrong, like, come on, bro. Like, I know when I'm doing something wrong, my nigga. Like you, I, I'm, I might still do it, but I, you could tell when you're doing something that's wrong. When it's it's a potential risk to everyone around you, that's just you feel me. You know, bro. You know. <clears throat> I say this though, bro. Um, I don't have this type of courage, chat. Oh God, I don't. Um, I love life way too much, bro. Now, if there was no cars on the road like that, then easy. But one pothole, chat, and you're out of there. One pothole. Or another thing is drinking and driving. And, and, and like, we don't ever be under the influence ever behind the wheel. And I'm proud to say that. Like, Tell me what's going through your head in the police chase. How do you get away? What are you thinking about? Are you trying to go a few streets and take an exit? You got a hideout? Like, how do you evade police in this type of situation? Hold on, don't give out too much sauce. There's people that might watch what you do and wonder how the police have not caught you yet. How, what is your answer? I mean, truly, the way that we don't get caught is to stop being dickhead.
to do, do chase policy. And I can see this because I've been like, at least in swim at least, I got into the most count chases, right? And I'm not saying it's because I like that, it's I got the worst luck, bro. Over there, honestly. Over there, I just got the worst luck on this point. I wanted to know what the legal perspective was on what swim team squeeze bends and all these other talk to a lawyer. Were doing. What were the legal ramifications? How much jail time could they face? And why is it that they were so brazen about continually doing this? I talked to my guy Nate the lawyer to figure out more about this. He's a lawyer that runs a YouTube channel and breaks things down regularly. Ah, this shit. is what he had to say. My name is Nate the lawyer. I'm a former prosecutor and a former law school professor. And what you've just seen on screen is known as reckless driving. In the state of New York, you could serve up to a year in prison if you That's recklessly it? drive. Reckless driving in New York is simple. It's if you drive in a manner that, quote, unreasonably interferes with the free and proper use of the public. That's it? That's all that is, chat? Yo, cops be throwing out this charge like it's nothing, nigga. What? That's all it is? There has to be more charges than that for, for cutting up. No way. The highways or unreasonably endangers users of the public <laughs> highway. Reckless driving is prohibited. Every person violating this provision shall be guilty of a misdemeanor, meaning you can serve up to a year in jail. If someone is injured or killed during the act of reckless driving, you could find yourself facing some serious mm, manslaughter. Charges. Dangerous and disturbing exclusive video of young people driving their cars recklessly just before one of the cars crashed and killed two people. Now this driver was charged with manslaughter and criminally negligent homicide. He's facing up to 10 years in prison. If you are doing something that you know is inherently dangerous and could get someone killed or hurt, and then you do it anyway. Someone in chat said cuff him in 15 years. <laughs> y'all niggas can't vote. Y'all vote. Focus on what he's saying, dog. Ethan, welcome back. Low love, welcome back, bro. That the law finds to be reckless and criminal in some cases. Driving a car 90 miles an hour in a 50 mile an hour zone is reckless. Someone could get hurt, someone could get killed. And if someone does, then you are on the hook for that homicide. There may be no fear of repercussions because of New York's bail reform law. The misdemeanor of reckless driving, as you see on the screen, isn't eligible for bail. If someone commits this crime 10 times in the same day, they'll get bail every time because of New York's bail reform laws. Now, some of you may not believe how insane New York's bail reform laws are, but they are insane. Like this guy who was arrested 101 times for shoplifting and let go every time because of New York's bail reform laws. Wait, I don't understand. Is he saying bail reform? If he is, just because you post bail doesn't mean the charges are dropped. You still have to fight him. You're just not spending the time in jail while the charges are being fought. Right or wrong? Because if the nigga has 101 charges, don't you... Oh, he's saying bail reform. Uh, he's saying it with an accent. Okay. I don't know what that means then. So if you, have a, this guy, if you have a misdemeanor, you could just walk every time? Uh, who was arrested for three assaults in one day, even threw a brick through a store window. He was released every single time on bail reform. No, he's or saying bail, of bro. these four people who chopped up two bodies, left body parts all around the state of New York, and then when the cops went to their home, they found blood, body parts, guts, everything in their home. Guess what the judge did? He released them without bail. When you put everything together, I think these guys are doing it because they don't really have any fear that they're going to kill anybody. And if they get caught reckless driving, they'll get arrested and charged, but they'll probably be let out the same day on bail reform. Then we can go out and do it again. If you need... Yeah, but you still have to fight the charges. It, is what I'm saying making sense? Or do I completely not understand the legal system? Even if you're out on bail, you still have to address the charges. That's how it was when I went to jail. I bailed out and then I adjusted the charges and shit got dropped or uh, rescinded, it expunged, all of that. So like this thing, the nigga still has 101 charges to deal with. He's just free while he deals with them. Legal advice. If you're looking to this YouTube video to help you in your case, you're looking at the wrong place. With that being said, I'm Nate the Lawyer and I'm out. Peace. After hearing what Nate the Lawyer said, hearing that there's no consequences really for what these guys are doing, it makes sense why they're doing it. Back to the swim team. Wait, hold on, let me rebuttal the lawyer. What's the alternative? Are you going to keep everybody that gets charged with something in jail until the court hearing is over? You don't know if that's going to be months, days, years. You have no clue. Depends on the severity of the case. So if somebody lies and charges me with something, I have to be in jail until it's figured out? No, the, the, that's the whole point of having bail. What the fuck? That's such a... Sh the, 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 the way he phrased it is like it needs to change. But like what about it needs to change? Because what's the alternative? You just remove bail in general? Fuck no. How often do you guys get nervous doing this? Oh, I've been in some 
So I stored my ICA super nervous, especially when I used to run. And the reason I started running is not because I like I don't like cops. It's simply because like it got to a point where I A nigga like you would snitch. Because I was getting singled out for no reason. The speed limit is 50, right? So I would be on the belt park right and I'm going 70, 75. I'm doing the same speed everyone else can do that. Mm -hmm. However, when the state trooper sees everyone else and me, they single me out because I'm in a white port. So then they think I can afford the ticket, but in the beginning, I could, but then that shit started stacking up. And if Yo, what he said is facts, bro. What he said is facts. Yo, every chat. Once you once you graduate from whatever car you're driving to a fire car, everyone who's done this experiences, bro. If you have a thug car or a luxury car, the second you get in that and you start driving, you you will get tickets for everything. You'd be like, damn, nigga, they won't stop. Bro, there's some cars I just don't even bother driving that much on the road because I know, like, if I do the same thing in my Tesla, I, I will never get ticketed in my Tesla, bro. I can go 80 over. They won't stop me, my nigga. If I go 10 over in my M4, I'm a little anxious just because of how they've can. And that's just the way it is. Everyone, everyone I know, especially around the house, like, the second they got a thug car or, like, a luxury car, the same thing happens to them, bro. And the cops tell you, too. They don't even hide it. They'll say shit like, in a car like this, what did you expect? They'll say it. You're gonna say, oh, then just don't speed. I wasn't speeding. I'm just keeping up with the flow of traffic, right? And then I just started running one day because I just couldn't afford the tickets anymore. And then it just started from there. I'm super nervous at first. You gotta tell more of these After the first time, I only got nervous one more time. That was only because I got ticked That's the one thing I love about my Tesla. Yo, police never bother me, bro. 15 cars? Yeah. Oh! Do you guys have to get away from helicopters before? I never had to. Thanks God. Honestly, but I feel like I don't think it has a change in the video. Oh yeah, I don't think it Has the news reached out to any of you guys? Oh yeah, of course. Bro, I ain't going for it. This is crazy. I'm like 87. I'm like 87 news at all. Cause they reached out to me about my content and they still post it after I said no. And I don't like that. But yeah, there's mad news articles about this event, bro. So news reporters have reached out to you guys. They DM you, they, they, text you. they email you. <laughs> Okay, so Ali Bauman from CBS New York. Hi, I'm a reporter from CBS New York. May we have permission to air some of your videos with credit to you? You know, the crazy part is, if they say no, like, what are you going to do? Take him to court? <laughs> what are you going to do? Reveal yourself? <laughs> like, they can post it anyway. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Fight you over it in court? They, they can't do shit about it. You just post it. They really deadass can't do shit about it. Yes, you do. I was like, no, to me. I just never responded. What made you say no to her and yes to me? Honestly, bro, you're not a cop. Yeah. You're not a cop. You're not associated with the law. You don't have an ulterior motive. I genuinely feel like you're not going to try to paint that picture with And we've seen your videos, we've seen the work you do, and the type of, honestly, you interview people that do worse stuff than us. Way worse. Come on now, if you were keeping them safe, there's no reason why you would keep us safe, bro. To me, it feels really fun to have no journalistic background yeah. to be beating them at their own game. Nah, yeah, definitely. No, no. Honestly, bro, when you're an authentic person, you go far away. I feel like people in our generation just don't trust the news. They've lied so many times that their credit's gone with us. No, yeah, definitely. Honestly, bro, I've been getting Bro, Tommy, put your people. fucking seatbelt on, nigga. Pull over, take the tracker out the whip. Range Rover Sport, I'm on the jacket doing tricks. Keep swimming, got the paddles in the ship. Let's meet the swim team and let's hear their specialties. Float, swim team, you already know. And what's your specialty? My specialty is uh, floating. All I do is float. That's my name, that's what I do. It's everything. Do you feel like you have to look over your shoulder doing this kind of stuff? I always look over my shoulder. I'm always not anyone. I, I would say I'm kind of camera shy, but like my specialty is like I do a little bit of everything. But when it comes to like the uh, you know the corporate side Who's of things, the drifter? You know, brands and stuff, like I'm basically like the brains behind the, that whole. Wait, so you're trying to turn this into a video game? I mean, we already kind of did. It's a game, so it's called a set of Porsche. So basically, uh, we host servers, and you just gotta take the link, hop on the server, and if any one of us happens to play on the server, you get to drive with swim. Yeah, you know it's crazy, chat. You, I was bored at Best Buy uh, the other day. You know what I got? Talking about a set of Corsa. <laughs> I, you know, I had the, I have the chair, I got the wheel, and all that, but I didn't have a, I didn't have the manual shit for mine. I remember one time Phantom let me borrow his, but I don't want to keep borrowing nigga shit, so I just bought one. <laughs> 
So we will be setting that up, bruh. <laughs> Whereas 981 and his team are well aware that a lot of his fans are young males that might try and replicate what they do. And knowing that that is incredibly dangerous, his team has done something so you can join them in the safety of your home. They built this online Assetto Courser server so you can drive, swerve, drift, whatever you want. All you need is a computer, internet connection, and it's recommended you have a steering wheel. Details to join the server are in my description. Do you think you're wanted by law enforcement? They definitely know about us. I mean, me specifically, I have no clue. If I am wanted, I'm sorry. I don't hate NYPD, I just don't want to take it. What do you go by? <laughs> this is 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. And what's your specialty? Well, right now, I think the fans would probably say my specialty is probably police chases, cop chases, and stuff like that. But in my opinion, I think drifters are. How many police chases do you think you've been in? Honestly, bro. I lost count probably because I posted at least 30, I think. So I think I have. Oh, you have at least nah. 30 police chases on the internet right now. Yeah. Why? I feel like if I feel like the police just suck at catching niggas, then, bro. Because, like, yo, I don't give a fuck how nice you are on the wheel. 30 times they airballed. 30. Is this worth potentially going to prison? No matter how you look at it, it's not worth it at all. Me being how I am as a person, bro, it's fun, bro. Who are you? So I'm Reaper. What's your specialty? I'm more of a low-key swimmer. I'm not really making videos and stuff, but you know, if you know, you know. Do you have any little brothers? Oh, yeah. If they wanted to get into this, what would you tell them? I'm a hypocrite, bro. I wouldn't recommend this part. You don't recommend that? Um, this is a question for the whole group. How often do you guys have to change vehicles? I say if you do it right, you could probably go a year to two years where you have to swap the car if you're smart. But you could do some dumb shit in one night that makes you have to swap. What do you go by? <laughs> My name's Billy. And what's your specialty? Honestly, the fans kind of know me as Lester, I guess I would say. That's, um, if you get in trouble, you can call me. I I'll help you with your situation. So what makes this... Like a lawyer? Or... Or a thug. It's worth doing. It's not worth doing. I wouldn't recommend doing it if I were you, but I can't make your decision for you. So if you are going to do this against our best wishes, I guess, just think about other people on the road and do whatever you can to bring it home without hurting yourself, hurting anybody else, or damaging any property. Tell me how you think about taking on risks and danger. I think if you're ever gonna take on any risks or any danger, whether it's physical risks or financial risks, I think you should write down every single one of the variables that could be a factor in the risk that you're taking, and you should figure out what's the worst case scenario that could go wrong, any other kind of scenarios that could go wrong, and you wanna figure out what the best case scenario is, and if that's worth the gamble for you, for the risks that are laid out on the table, but if those risks are worth the reward that you're going for, I think you should go for it. And if at any time you get too scared, the risks are too much for the reward, you don't want to risk it for the biscuit, then stop. Because you're Dang, I say it like that. He's right. Okay, but if you think about it like that, who in their right mind would value cutting up? Because it's fun, enjoyable, satisfying, all that. It's exhilarating. Bro, you get a rush, a fucking adrenaline, all of that. But that's the best case scenario. The worst case scenario looks bad, nigga. Like that one nigga catching 10 years for manslaughter. You feel me? The, the 10 years is bad. I don't give a fuck how good it feels in the moment. 10 years of your life? Potentially? You're not built for it. If you want an extraordinary life, you have to take extraordinary yeah, measures and risk that, the action. Bro. But know your lane and know when to sit out. And this is something I'm sitting out for. Also, the story of Icarus, you, when you have wax wings and you fly too close to the sun, never feel like you got it on lock 24-7. The story of Icarus comes from Greek mythology, and it recounts the tale of Daedalus and his son Icarus, who were imprisoned on the island of Crete by King Minos. To escape, Daedalus fashioned wings made of feathers and wax for him and Icarus. Warned by his father not to fly too close to the sun, Icarus disregarded regarded this advice. As he soared higher and higher, the wax melted, causing his winds to fail, and he plummeted into the sea and drowned. This story serves as a cautionary tale warning against the dangers of Dumbass. overconfidence and recklessness. And this story, I think, is very relevant to Mr. Squeeze Benz. My son Stolen couldn't make it, but he wanted to say what's up to y'all, feel me? Hello, what's going on, y'all? Anything you gotta say for the camera, brother? Shout out my son Jolly, too. He couldn't make it. Yeah, so you ask us these questions. What do you think of swimming? So here's the thing. I think danger is good in somebody's life, but when you endanger someone else while you're having your own fun, that's where I'm iffy about it. Yeah. I, I admire good answer. the courage. Good I admire answer. the bravery. But when other people's lives are at risk, to me, it's like it's a hard battle. You know what I mean? Like, uh, if I lost a friend because someone was just having fun on the road, I'd want to kill that guy. Uh, I also, as a young man who does dangerous things, too, get it. But I highly advise you, don't try it out. <laughs>
Yo, the, I guess the M is just a fucking thug reckless car, huh? Yo, these are the niggas that be giving uh, M's a bad brand, chat. <laughs> like, when you drive around in a BMW now, niggas gonna be like, oh, yeah, probably just another bad BMW driver. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. Fuck it, man. I'm not gonna lie. M's is the best class of cars, though, so y'all can swallow our dicks, nigga. Our car is better. these guys here to do b-roll of their cool cars but while waiting their turn a couple of them decided to do donuts in the parking lot amg's better bro i've had both my nigga the m is way better bro where there are many families because of this the police were called and in a few minutes an nypd helicopter arrived on the scene this is what happened next for what? what? I'm Tommy G. Here's the most wanted drivers in New York. Look, they're feeling out. Folks, I wasn't lying when I said these guys are wanted. Well, folks, I think it's time we get out of here. Stay safe. They're just chilling. What the fuck? Realize that the choices you make can impact other people. There's dangerous things you can do that just impact yourself. When it impacts scared civilians. No, they That's weren't. Good. Oh, were they, were they doing donuts video, and folks, shit? Because a lot of young people are going to think this is cool. And they're too, their brain is not developed enough to realize the risk to other people. And I feel like you got to pick and choose your battles. No, and, they barely, uh, bro. Like, while it is exciting, statistics. Not, not enough to warn a helicopter, my nigga. You know what a helicopter is, bro? You know how much, you know how much gas for a helicopter costs? <laughs> Nigga, send out a couple squad cars before you send the heli out. Basically, eventually, someone is going to crash, someone's going to die, someone's going to get paralyzed, and the game that sounded so fun is not so fun anymore. Went from Game Boys to Scales, now I play the mail. I flex some fake Matty boy that he copped on the rail. Turbo sticking out the Civic, looking like a snail. Switched to V three times, but we lost the trail. Got my boy from out of town, he's here to crack some safes. Whoa, is that not a comp new storyline for Fast and Furious? Right? I'm so fucking sick of these niggas. The last movie had a fucking bomb rolling down Italy for like 40 minutes. Bro, these shitty ass storylines, these exaggerated. Why don't they just have like an undercover nigga growing a profile, racing in the streets and shit like that. Then the police find him, niggas trying to get loose. Nigga goes to jail, his family misses him. Like, come on, bro, why are we not? Let's get back to the roots. That would be a fire Fast and Furious storyline, man. But they just want to do more dumb shit and be in outer space. <laughs> Niggas would be in outer space. The first one, not nah, Too Fast, Too Furious was kind of like that, but it was a under, Too Fast, Too Furious was kind of like that, but <clears throat> anyway, bro. Oh, so you like the video. <laughs> Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you're you're going to like that one too, man. Go ahead, just. Bro, click the yeah, video. Buddy. What that? Bro, that's what I be saying, like.